When it comes to anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies, we have currently uh, two drugs which are approved and available, namely daratumumab, but also isatuximab. Daratumumab is approved in combination with VTD for induction, so frontline in the transplant eligible population, but it is also approved at time of relapse. For instance, the Dara Rev Dex combination, Daratumumab, Lenalidomide, Dex, and Metazone or Dara Valdex, Dara Tumumab, Bortezomib, Dexamethasone, or Dara Carfizumib, Dexamethasone at time of relapse. Uh, we have also Dara Pomdex, Dara Tumumab, Pomalidomide, Dexamethasone at time of relapse. So Dara Tumumab, it has an approval, has a label in first line, but also at time of relapse. When it comes to Isatuximab, uh, for the time being, we have uh, uh, the drug, the the anti-CD38 isatuximab is approved in relapse in combination with carfizumib dexamethasone, isatuximab KD, and thanks to the IKEMA uh, trial, or isatuximab plus pomalidomide and dexamethasone, uh, isapomdex, thanks to the ICARIA trial. So this is why isatuximab, for the time being, according to the label, is mainly used uh, in the relapse setting. However, uh, we should not forget that we have already uh, results from randomized trial which tested the use of isatuximab in the frontline setting, for instance, in combination with KRD, isatuximab, carfizumab, lenalidomide, dexamethasone. So there are trials with both uh, anti-CD38 agent, monoclonal antibodies, in first line but also a time of relapse, uh, but also uh, uh, the labels are slightly different, but it's about the timing of uh, uh, the uh, labels, of course.